With Pinnacle Studio, you can get creative by making your own custom transitions via a number of different methods to make your video look and feel completely original and bespoke. And in doing so, you can really get to grips with the vast customizations that keyframing, Pinnacle's built-in effects, and the split-screen template creator can bring to your projects. Let's show you how we made these transitions. Here's the project file that we used. All you need to create your own wipes is an image of the wipe that you'd like to use. You can create this in a graphics program such as Coral Draw, or just download an image that you like from the internet and import it into your project bin. You can see I've got a plain white PNG file here and a yellow textured PNG file that I created myself. Just make sure that the resolution of the image is at least the size of your project to avoid the image appearing pixelated. So we can see I have two video clips on the timeline with the wipe image on the track above them. And we want to wipe the image over the two video clips. We want to keyframe the position of the image so that at the exact point where the first clip ends and the second begins, the PNG completely fills the timeline monitor. So we position the timeline scrubber at this point and add a position keyframe. Now I'll skip back 20 frames by pressing Shift and Z twice and drag the horizontal position to the left until the PNG file is no longer shown on the timeline monitor. Now skip ahead 40 frames, Shift and X four times and drag the horizontal position to the right until the PNG file disappears again. You might notice that when we added our first keyframe, Pinnacle Studio automatically created a header keyframe at the start of the clip with the same value as the first keyframe. So at the moment, our wipe isn't working correctly. We just need to copy the value of the left-hand keyframe to the header keyframe, so our PNG stays off screen until the playhead hits the left-hand keyframe. And it's that easy to create your own wipe. If you want the wipe to be vertical rather than horizontal, we'd obviously just keyframe the vertical position instead. Or, if we wanted it to be diagonal, we could keyframe both horizontal and vertical at the same time. We can also use effects to further customize how the wipe image is displayed. I've added a few here already. Lens correction can make one end of the PNG file distort in a circular fashion. Cylinder can warp the whole image. and Tile can introduce repetitions of the image in different colors and with distortions. So the best approach is to dive into the Effect tab and experiment to see what you like. We can also use keyframing on effects rather than on the position parameter of the PNG. Here's the same two video clips with the same wipe image on top of them, but this time I've added the Shard's GPU effect, which splits the PNG into multiple shards. I've then keyframed how these shards evolve. At the zero point, the point where the first clip ends and the second begins, I've got a keyframe with the shards touching in the center and rotation set to zero. Then with the keyframes either side, I've set rotation to go from minus 124 on the left to zero in the center to plus 124 on the right. I've then pulled the distance slider out on the left until all of the shards are off screen and then match this value on the right-hand keyframe. And we can see how quick it can be to use effects to create something really compelling for your viewers. This is just using one effect, and with Pinnacle Studio, you have dozens of effects baked in that you can get creative with. Just have a browse through the effects and have a look at what parameters can be keyframed. We can also create transitions using the split-screen template creator the advantage to this is that you can then save the transition and use it again across multiple video projects really easily. Let's open up the split screen feature and show how it works. To create a similar wipe transition, we effectively need three clips on screen, so we'll need to make two dividers. I'm going to create a horizontal wipe again, so we'll add two vertical lines as my shapes. Then I'll drag in my video clips. I'll add the clip that I want the wipe to start with to one, this plain white PNG file to two, and my ending clip to three. I'll then set the border opacity to zero for both shapes.
Now we need to set our transition points. Let's scrub to 3 seconds in and then set our view to 50% because we'll be dragging our shapes off screen and we need to see around our finished split screen to see the locations of the shapes. Then grab the first shape and slide its horizontal position so it's somewhere just off the left hand edge of the screen. Repeat this for the second shape but don't drag it quite as far off screen. Now scrub ahead to where we want the wipe to end. Around one second is normally good and to position the shapes off the right hand edge of the screen. Now go back to the first keyframe that we generated and copy the position values to the header keyframe so that the split screen just shows the first video clip until the transition begins at our first keyframe. So now we have a simple white box wiping across the screen, revealing the second video clip. The advantage to this compared to the first method that we showed in this tutorial is that we don't have to have the wipe filling the screen at any point. Our actual wipe can be much narrower. But with a couple of extra keyframes, we can make the wipe more dynamic. Let's position the scrubber roughly midway between our two keyframes and then grab the right hand shape. Move its horizontal position so it's roughly three quarters across the screen. Then grab the left hand shape and position it roughly one quarter across the screen. This makes the wipe effectively grow in size and in turn then shrink as the transition progresses. And this is just one of many customizations that you could make to your own transitions. And as mentioned, we can save this split screen template to use again and again, simply replacing the video clips in the sub editor each time. We hope this gives you a better understanding of the power of keyframing within Pinnacle and how to create custom transitions that can take your projects to the next level. Happy editing.